Hey guys, now in today's video, we're taking a look at the Big Me Ink Note X. Uh, this is an e-ink tablet. It's gonna allow you to organize your notes, capture meeting notes unlike you've ever did before, scan documents, and guess what? It has Android 13, which is gonna expand all of the apps that you can use on an e-ink device. We're gonna take a look at the features. We're gonna see who this device is for. And I have to tell you, this guy has got me really excited. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Big Me Ink Note X is packed with features and it's a relatively large size. Now, this device is very different from, let's say, an iPad. This is a device that is designed for someone that's looking to take notes and not be distracted by all the other things that can happen on a tablet. This is an excellent device for a college student, a business person that is looking to get back to the, to the feel of writing on paper and taking notes, but taking, or let's say, making advantage of all of the technology that comes with digital capture, the ability to store, the ability to search, the ability to convert to text, the ability to record. All these things come with an e-ink device like this that is ultra thin and it's also very flexible. We're looking at a 10.3 inch Kaleido screen and this is the third generation screen with Android 13, which because it has Android 13, it's gonna expand again all the apps that are available on the device. There are other e-ink devices out there that don't have Android um, natively accessible and it limits what you can do with them. Not the case here. You also have a fantastic resolution. We're talking about an 1860 by 2480 with 300 PPI for color. And for black and white, again, depending on how your usage is, and this is all seamless, right? 930 by 1240, 150 PPI. Now it does feature an octa-core 2.4 gigahertz processor, six gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage, and it can be increased, get this, to one terabyte because it has an external memory slot. Now, you're gonna be able to get up to a week of usage from this device, a week of usage, using it, taking notes, recording meetings, and even navigating the web because you can, because it has Android 13. 4,000 milliamp hour battery. And it also has this really cool stylus that not only does it have 4,096 levels of pressure, meaning as you're pressuring and writing, it knows, but it also serves as a recorder and it also has a laser pointer, an infrared laser pointer. That's also unheard of and super cool. Now you have four, a four array mic with uh, dual speakers um, with a five megapixel uh, camera. Now, it has uh, both front and rear cameras, a 5 megapixel and an 8 megapixel uh, rear camera so that you can actually take pictures of documents and scan those documents. Now, it does have Wi-Fi. It has Bluetooth, Type-C, USB-C port, and then it also, check this out, the power switch is also fingerprint reader. This is like super packed. This is more than just an e-reader. This is a business device. This is a device for someone who's really looking to step up their note taking and really take their organization to the next level. Now the tablet does come with a really nice folio that protects it, but it doesn't add a lot of thickness to it. I really like the look of it. I like the overall feel and I like how little weight it adds. Now the pen, as you can see here, uh, the pen does have a chargeable area. This pen is a Bluetooth pen, which connects to the actual tablet, but it doesn't require power to function. The power is an extra feature. It gives you some nice capabilities when it comes to like the laser point and some of the other things that you can do. But if you had no power, for example, it's still gonna work. Matter of fact, you could use any e-ink pen uh, that isn't powered with this as well to, to write on. So if you think about a Remarkable Pen or if you think like, let's say the brand new uh, Books uh, 10 3 Go, those type of devices, those pens also work. But this one has additional features because it's powered. Now, the cool thing about this is that as you look at this pen, it basically attaches to the side, not only magnetically, but it charges as well. So it's actually using power from the actual tablet itself. Now, you can see we have the tablet here. And the neat thing about this tablet and this is the thing that you're gonna notice immediately, is that the tablet does have a, a light, uh, and it makes the display easy to read in low light situations. But when I'm outside, and you're gonna see this in an outside setting, you'll be able to see how it really changes the way this tablet is used. Unlike an iPad, a Samsung Galaxy Tab, or any other tablet that is you know, a, not an e-ink device, those have difficulty in direct sunlight. Uh, typically, if I'm on the beach reading or um, consuming any kind of content, what I end up doing is like covering it and almost creating almost like a little teepee for me so that I can see what's going on. You don't have to worry about it in this case. 
Now, as we take a look at the tablet, and we're gonna go ahead and bring it up this way, you can see how slim this thing is. You have, this is your power button, and it is also your, uh, your style, not your stylus, but your fingerprint sensor. Now, I wanna show you what the off state looks. Now, this is what it looks like when there is no power or no light enabled. And you could see, look how legible that thing is. And you could see that it's color. And that's the thing that sets this apart, the fact that it's color. Most e-ink devices are gonna be black and white. This one has a flavor of both. And when you look at the color, it's not gonna be super vibrant, if those of you who haven't seen EI ink devices before, but it's color enough where you'll be able to read magazines, tell different shades, and you can see what the color representation looks like right there. That looks really good. Now, I wanna show you how the fingerprint sensor works in a second. So as we go over here, you can see the actual, the, the mics themselves, you can see the charging port for the pen. Uh, you can see again right here, your USB-C, and then pretty much uh, you also then have your port uh, that you'll be able to use for expanded uh, memory and capacity um, on this. And you can see here your speakers. By the way, you could use this in this mode, like uh, you see me right here, and you could actually even attach a tablet to it too. So a lot of connectivity options when you think about everything that's going on. And here you can see your expansion and your USB-C. <clears throat> and you'll notice that it's right now in kind of like fingerprint mode. It's like waiting for me to log in. And I wanna show you how quickly it logs in. I'm gonna put my finger here and that's it. That's how fast it logs in. Now, a couple things we'll talk about as we look at what's going on with this uh, tablet. Really, as you look at the interface, the interface is not gonna have any color. Uh, and I'm gonna tap through things. It has a meeting uh, area where you can record meetings. And this is literally recording the meeting. And as you're recording the meeting, it's going to convert your meeting to editable text. That's pretty cool. Uh, you have your note section, right? And by the way, these get synced. Uh, there's a free storage solution. And then there's also, you can uh, gain access to it on your phone as well. So you're not locked in here. There are no additional fees, no costs outside of purchasing the tablet and then your usage. Uh, and you can sync this with their proprietary solution or you could install, for example, OneNote and use OneNote and OneNote syncs as well. So this is gonna go beyond Android, iPhone, it will go on your, if you have an iPhone or a Samsung phone, you'll be able to connect to it or a Google phone, you'll be able to use that as well. You do have a library and the library face, uh, frankly, that is, you know, this is, for example, those of you who like to read, you know, you're looking for kind of like a book experience, but not carrying the book. You'll be able to do this uh, here. You have storage and you can see how the storage is set up, you know, pictures, audio, video, um, and again, because you can play back things on this, you have an app center. And you, as you look at the app center and you see some of the things that are going on here, one of the things that you'll notice also is the fact that there is some colors. Again, not super saturated color, but you could see that there's some color here as well. You see, I have Audible on here for listening to audiobooks. I have Kindle for the Kindle reader. I also then have my, um, my also OneNote is on here as well. And um, I also have Google Keep Notes. So I have that and you can see the camera. And it also has some Office products here. If I select this, what you're gonna see is kind of like the responsiveness of how things work. You'll notice here it has this little floating button. This little button here lets you go back or home. And once again, you know, that's kind of like the navigation. If I go into the Google Marketplace, so we'll go into the App Store, you'll see how it comes up. And you're seeing the level of color that you're gonna get out of this. There, you can see that there's some, almost like a mustardy color coming over here. You can watch video on this as well, but the video playback is not like on a tablet or your phone, so I wouldn't really use this for this. But you could see as I'm moving up, how I can move across it. Because it's um, that digital ink or the e-ink, it's not gonna be as smooth as when you're looking at a phone or an iPhone. That's not what this is all about. This is about long battery life, direct sunlight usage, and again, being able to, again, consume content and not be distracted by additional media. But I like the fact that this content is here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back, right? Uh, and it also has a uh, voice to text uh, or text to voice option. And you can see a lot of the choices that are there. You could also scan documents and I have scanned some documents. So basically if you do scan, you'll basically point your, your tablet to the document that you wanna scan, it will scan it and you'll be able to convert it and do things with it. Uh, if I go over here, you'll notice that I have my Office products. Here I have Docs, Excel, and PowerPoint. Again, this is more than just a reader. This is a, this is a business machine. 
you know, when you can consume all this content, write on it, take notes and uh, share it and forward it, it becomes super powerful. You also have tasks, right? And then here's the things I was talking about, my reviews that I've been working on. And then pretty much that's the end of everything that I can see here. So again, this has some really cool abilities. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this outside and we're going to complete the review outdoor just to make sure that we don't get blown out because of the backlight and the camera. And you'll be able to see all these aspects and we'll review some of these things again, but in direct sunlight. That's where this thing shines. Now we're outside in direct sunlight and it's an exceptionally sunny day in Chicago. And I just wanted to show you what a an iPad would look like in direct sunlight. Now I have a, a cracked screen protector. The screen is not damaged, just, uh, just I do have a crack there. So the screen protector did its job. But this is what uh, my viewing experience is like. Uh, if I were to read, you know, this is actually giving me a lot of reflective um, reflection because of the glass. It's not a matte finish. It's going to be more difficult to read and it becomes even more challenging um, unless I had something covering the actual screen to give me a better you know, viewing experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here for a second. And now let's go ahead and look at the power of a solution like this, like from Bigme. And we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And first thing I want you to see is how clear this screen looks. This is amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and use our fingerprint to unlock. And now this is the kind of experience that you get in direct sunlight. So let's, let's take a look at just the overall, I would say, uh, you know, tablet. We'll take a look at its features. We're doing this all in direct sunlight, something that's not really possible, um, or it's, it's possible, but with difficulty if you were using a standard tablet. So uh, first thing you'll notice here on the menuing is that you have, and we'll put the pen aside because I could do a lot of touch here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that's connected there. All right, so a couple things that we have going on here. So you have a meeting area, and the meeting area is a pretty nice feature. I'm just going to go ahead and hit uh, add in a new one. So what this would do, and I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, start this process. So there's nothing here for me to play, but I can actually start a recording. So I'm going to go ahead and hit record, and as it is hearing or recording my voice, it's actually converting that to written text that I can supplement with whatever I'm writing on the screen. So you can imagine yourself listening to a meeting and you can see how well the conversion is taking place. And as the text is being captured, I can write a note about the actual content that's being, I would say, captured. So here's my note about uh, the Let's say note and part and I, it's kind of hard to write this way, but yeah, you know what? You guys get the idea. Note X. So you could see how beneficial this would be for me to take notes, for me to maybe doodle stuff. You know, maybe I'm going to, I'm drawing some type of process and describing that process. And as I'm doing that, you can see what's being captured at the very top. So very powerful note taking tool. And I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And you can see how much has been uh, collected. And again, we were doing this all real time. So as I tap through this, you can see how much is being uh, captured in text form. And this is why I was saying that this device, while it lends itself for, for the use of someone who just wants to take note taking or reading books, this is a great business device because of this capability. I found myself using this uh, to, again, capture meeting notes to be more effective at capturing those meeting notes because I'm able to actually record and get all that content as you can see here. And go into this little dot here and I'm going to go home and we're going to look at the next thing that you have. So you can see I've done this a couple times. Now over here, these are, are your notes. And with the notes section, you can create new notes. Now each one of these notes can be looked at not just as notes but as, as notebooks, right? So you don't have to have them spelled out the way I have them here. So if I choose a new note, what I can do here is um, name uh, this note and then add pages to it. So let's say, for example, if this was all about a specific meeting, I could go ahead and, or a meeting series, I could have all my notes together. Now, what I could do here is put in my idea. So I can put right here, this is my idea. And then here I could put details of my idea. 
right? And I could put my next idea, and then I go put the details, or I can erase. Then here's one cool thing that you could do with the pen. If you press the button on the pen, you can go ahead and erase things. You just have to make sure you have that button pressed. And now I can type again, idea, and then I could put details, uh, second idea. And there are several things I could do with this right here. So you notice I, I have here layers, which is just like uh, most programs, PowerPoint, Photoshop, where you can have um, multiple layers if you were doing something complex. You can um, actually change the canvas, and you can see how you have some canvas options there. Lasso, zoom, there is a toolbar, right? And that you can, you know, the toolbar here that you can modify or edit. You also have the ability to share. There is more options, so you can encrypt, rename, and modify some of the control. And then you can do undo and redo. And then you can see how you have one of one, so you can have your multiple pages. So uh, this, is, uh, this is not a standard view. There's multiple different views that you can choose. I chose to have this view because I like the, I think this is a Cornell view, where you basically have your main ideas on one side, and then over here you have the associated main point right next to it. And this is a good note-taking solution. Uh, obviously, I'm not a fast um, note-taker, so having main concepts and make, having the details on the side is a pretty cool thing. And then I could, over here, is I can put action items, like for example, so I can put action items. And again, what I want you to appreciate is how clear this looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home now, go back to the home, and you then also have a library. And the library is gonna be for books, and you can see this is kind of a good example of something that we can look at. This is about the actual tablet itself, and you can see the content. I could go into any of these uh, and then swipe through these and see this detail, right? And then you do have some abilities to, you know, to either write on this, highlight this. There's all these different things you can do. You know, I can say, hey, not, not important, or I can go ahead and erase this. It all depends on the, on the tip that I have here, uh, and you can see how that was gone. Uh, again, really convenient to be able to read PDFs and all types of sorts of documents from what you have here. By the way, this is not going to be an exhaustive review of each one of the apps, but I just want to give you a sense of what the capabilities are. You have your storage, which is just storage. You have your app center, and this is where your apps are. And here, even though we're in direct sunlight, you can see some of that color start popping through. And I want to say that in this environment, it looks even better than in, in the house. So here you can see the browns right here, and you can see that here. You can see some of the reds, even though they're somewhat muted. You can see your audible, so you can listen to books, I do. Camera, you can, I have um, Keep Google Keep Notes. There's Google Play, and I'll tap on that. And you can see that this looks like Google Play. It basically is just a more muted, um, I would say, version of Google Play. So we're gonna go ahead and go home. And then over here you have, again, uh, where this uh, WPS, which is an office tool. And you can see that you have a lot of different uh, choices that you can work with there as well. So all in all, again, very, very capable. Uh, you can scan documents, which I showed you I can't, I did, and it's pretty straightforward. All you're doing is taking your, your, your tablet, pointing it on a document, scanning it, and then it's going to do uh, OCR, or optical character recognition. We have our, um, our office area here where you have your docs, your Excel, and then your PowerPoint documents. And then you can have a task disk. Uh, task list here and then this is where you can set up your tasks so all in all just wanted to give you a sense of what's so special about devices of this type and I hope you get a better appreciation of how well these things perform in direct sunlight like this this is absolutely spectacular amazing you can't do this with a normal device so guys that wraps up our review see you in the next video